First install the studs that fixes the heating sink. The assembly direction of the studs can be distinguished by the countersunk hole on the plate. Next install the non-adjustable pulleys. Use cylindrical spacer column to assembling non-adjustable pulleys. Note that it needs to be assembled with gasket. Assemble the other non-adjustable pulley in the same way. Then assemble the adjustable pulleys with the eccentric nut. Pay attention to the direction when the eccentric nut is threaded into the screw. One end of the circular step faces the plate and insert the circular step into the plate. Tighten self-locking nut. Turn the red marking line of the eccentric nut to the outside. Maximize the distance between the pulleys. When assembling the heat sink, please install the side with the screws on the heat sink outward. Get it done. First insert the white heat brick into the heating block. Loosen the screws on the bottom of the heat sink. Insert the heat brick into the heat sink. And adjust the direction of the heating block. Then tighten the screw for fixing. Make sure the heat brick is fully inserted into the heat sink. When fixing the thermistor, only lightly tighten the screw. Just make sure the thermistor doesn't slip out by itself. Excessively tightening the screws may cause the thermistor shell to deform and cannot be disassembled again. After adjusting the position of the heating tube, screws can be locked normally. Fix the heating tube. Put on the fan bracket and fix it on the plate with self-tapping screws. When assembling the 3010 cooling fan, pay attention to the direction of the fan and the position of the fan wire.
Assemble the air guide to the 4020 turbofan. Next, organize the four cables and pass them into the braided tube. Finishing braided tubing. Secure cables with zip tie. Do not tighten the tie at this time. Then organize the cables. Note that the cables of the two fans should be arranged in the notch on the side. Avoid cables being pinched. Adjust the cables. Make the interface of cables is about the same length. Arrange the fan cable to the position of the side notch. Fix the 4020 turbo fan. Make sure the fan cable is not pinched or crushed. Finally tighten the tie. Tighten the cable. And cut off excess tie. Check the appearance and cables. Make sure the installation is correct. Get it done. Take out the X-axis profile. Slide the print fan into the profile. At this time, it can be seen that the print head shakes obviously on the profile. Rotate the eccentric nut on the slider with an 8mm wrench to adjust the distance of the pulleys. So that the pulleys can clamp the profile. There is a red marking line on the eccentric nut. Turn marking line to profile. The distance between the pulleys on both sides can be reduced. When adjusting the engagement of the pulley, please rotate the eccentric nut a small number of times at a small angle. Shake the slider after each adjustment to see if there is still a gap between the slider and the profile. Until the slider can move smoothly on the profile, but shake without any gap. Perfect.